<laughs> hey good vibe what's up today we're gonna be looking at what you need to know in today's pick a card reading okay we have two special cards and if you're asking hey esther is your art getting worse or better well this was a special special kind of creation because it was a collaboration with my friend who has actually colorblind and she cannot see blues or yellows or greens or something there's a very um little distinction between that but incredible what she created i love the art i love what she did with the colors and the energy is very powerful anyways both of these cards are ready for you to choose as we dive into here what do you need to hear right now like why are you on this reading good viber what message is for you so we have Group one and group two, okay? Allow yourself to take a moment to choose and the timestamps will be down below. We'll start with group one. Group one, your card is titled co-creating. Now this is number three. Now co-creating says, I am blessed to be able to co-create a new explosive experience, allowing others to share their energy. Allowing all the beings to be allowed, allowing communication as effectively and efficiently as all benefit. Allowing humanity to flow through me. Wow, okay. So again, really interesting, like the lines and everything. Uh, it, it's crazy. This was a crazy card. There's a lot going on in this card. So what I'm hearing or what you need to hear right now is all about what you are co-creating what are you making with others how are you communicating effectively with other people for all to benefit how are you sharing your energy with others okay it, it's you know it sounds like an explosive experience you're co-creating so maybe you're planning a trip with friends or you're planning a project with someone something is on the verge of explosion okay and this is a collective kind of explosion that comes only when you have multiple people working and sharing that energy okay so really exciting exciting energy that we have out here group one okay so we're gonna look into the tarot and we're gonna just see what do you need to know okay about your situation where you currently are this is a timeless reading so whenever you stumble upon this video and this message for you viewer i pray that it will resonate and you will receive what information is needed from it okay so let's see what do, what do they need to know okay kalunada Mm, okay, so with the Eight of Swords in reverse, oh, there was like this pain in my heart, reminded me of the Three of Swords. But this is actually a really good card. Eight of Swords in reverse is mm, reminding us, because just like she has this blindfold and she can just slightly ever so see a little bit in front of her. This is reminding us that the situations that we feel are hopeless or we are helpless in actually there is help and the help in this situation is to just move forward when you move forward you see that there's actually enough space in between the swords for you to walk right through so really looking maybe where you have learned helpless there's a lot of mental constructs that are going on around here and actually being aware of what mental constructs, what people are saying or thinking, how that is kind of holding you back, especially when it comes to thinking about the future. Being aware of this energy and realizing that what they say or what they think might not actually be have as much impact as you may think it does in your future vision. So I hope that that makes sense so far with this card, right? Like, just because someone says, oh like p writers don't get paid a lot doesn't mean that you can't be a best-selling writer if that's really what you want to do and get paid a lot okay so that's the kind of energy that is the example they wanted me to use okay so there's definitely this feeling that maybe externally there's a lot of conflict or constraint with where you see yourself headed in the future um but there's this real calling for actually like yo wake up bro like you you good fam you good like wake up like do you realize that it's still in your hands like yeah the blockages again are there for you to know which way to go 
So that's the first, that's the first message of what you need to hear today, okay? We're gonna get two more for you, okay? Okay, so we're gonna get one on hmm, what do you need to hear? So that's current situation. Okay, this is gonna be that. Okay, one more, one more card, please. For overall situation. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They say I don't need to show the back of deck energy, which is interesting, okay, but it is what it is. There might be some distractions. There might be some uh, words that people are saying that aren't entirely true or are literally just there to scatter your energy and have you go in a million places at once. Okay, and that goes back to maybe this learned helplessness of people telling you there is no other way. Um, of saying like, this is, you need to do this for your future. This is kind of energy that we picked up with the Eight of Swords in reverse because people are telling you this or you're picking up on their thoughts and they're kind of trying to restrict your future goals or future visions okay with the purple in the third eye so what you should be aware of right now is that yes you can still see yes you can still create the future you want yes there is some learned helplessness here but that's okay we can learn how to break free from that and really um, move forward in a safe and healthy way okay so with that being said we're gonna be looking a little bit about <sighs> reflecting on this energy of what you need to hear with the ace of cups is that allow yourself to do something that makes you emotionally satisfied get yourself out of your head a little bit fam maybe this was a recent kind of conversation or event you know it doesn't even have to be a conversation just some kind of form of communication that really made you feel like what you wanted to do in the future was impossible and being aware that actually it still is possible you know you might have to tweak you might have to shuffle a little bit but it's still possible for you to do it okay don't let anyone tell you mm, you can't do that i mean certain things you know maybe you shouldn't do but make sure that you are doing this from a grounded place with the ace of cups we're really getting into the sense of being vulnerable with others sharing your emotions with others how are you feeling not from a place of i'm so emotional and i need to project more of i'm just reflecting on my emotions right now and i wanted to share how i feel with you well as you do that I just feel Source is going to bless you more and more continuously as you allow yourself to be this cup overflowing with Source or God or Oneness Creator juice, <laughs> if you will, okay? So there's also this feeling to communicate emotionally with yourself, okay? And I feel like this is going to assist you in whatever this Eight of Swords energy is in reverse, right? It's really, again, because if this is a, like a collective creation, the Ace of Cups is also giving you news of there's actually people that share the same emotional ways that you are feeling and they want to connect. Ace of Cups is, in a way, maybe someone's handing you a cup, like a literal cup of water. Maybe Source is handing you their cup. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of different sim symbology coming through for a lot of different people right now. But what you need to know is that really and truly open yourself up emotionally to express and be heard and to really connect with what you believe is the creator of all beings and consciousness and be aware that they are with you and are allowing you to go through with whatever that future vision was that you were feeling very hopeless about okay also do you like my makeup i kind of wanted to go for a clown look today so we went for the clown look okay anyways so what is the last thing you should know right now, fam? What should you know right now, pile one? Well, with the tower being our last card of advice, it's to be prepared for the worst, okay? And I say this uh, because if you're prepared for the worst, if it isn't the worst, then you'll be okay. But if you're prepared for the worst and it is the worst, then you'll also be okay. So making sure that you are preparing for something that you know might 
follow through again preparing for whatever was kind of holding you back the more that you prepare yourself emotionally tap into and connect and communicate with your emotions and others in this way that's kind of the way that you're preparing the easier this fall will be in a way this fall isn't even going to hurt if you fall in the water you know or catch that branch but Mm, the tower is a very powerful major arcana card when we're we, we're talking about what we need to know right now be prepared for sudden shifts to happen maybe be prepared for those certain people to confront you or be prepared for you know certain energy present itself to open up to you okay this is a shift that needs to take place to really ensure that you have a strong solid foundation in what Ever you are doing and wherever you are going okay these are the testing times that make us stronger so with the tower being here just remember remember that you are indeed here for a reason you have all that you need and in everything it's due season so I'm dropping Mars out here number 16 is also reminding us as that is half of number eight that you know mm, in a way this is very polarizing we look at the number eight and we see the infinity symbol so we see that there's also two people here that are breaking apart a part of yourself or your soul or what you were grounded on is going to break away that is something that you know you should know right now this could be already happening maybe physically you've lost someone or something that was very significant to you or certain ideas about the future or maybe even source connection this is all source connection but really diving deep into certain physical aspects of your experience might be falling away and if this when this does happen okay this is going to assist in shaping and molding your future going back to making sure that you realize that you can still move forward that all of the constraints and all of the walls and the you know the barriers that people kept on putting on you and what your future should look like um you know what like now is your time that you kind of fall like this is the imagery they're giving me like you kind of just go from, I'm not trapped anymore, to falling kind of down like Rapunzel from a building. But that's okay, because I, again, I feel like you're going to be falling in some good hands with the Ace of Cups over here, okay? So be aware of your emotions, be aware of your thoughts, be aware of other people's thoughts, and be aware of what things in the physical reality you find yourself really attached to and how you'd feel if they're no longer there okay so that's what you should know uh, i hope that you found this video useful and if you did you can press the thumbs up right now so i know so and can continue to do more videos like so let me know if you have any specific topics to do okay fam keep a positive attitude make sure you're aligned with your emotions and mind and of course i will see you in the next video have an amazing day Namaste. Group two, is that you? Is that you, group two? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Hi, group two. So here is your card. Your card is titled Remembering. And remembering is number six. And what should you need to know about remembering? Well, it only has a few words on it, but the words are peace, healing, appreciation, and inner child. Ooh, very beautiful, okay? So very beautiful card, very beautiful words, okay? And just opening up that appreciation for that inner child and that inner peace, something as well beautiful. Okay, group two. So now we're going to look into what do you need to know? Okay, so Im immediately I'm getting this feeling that you need to know that peace is with you. You are healing. You are appreciated. And the more you appreciate other things, you allow your inner child to shine through. Those those are some messages that need, are coming through immediately with this card. So love it and maybe doodling some mandalas like my my good friend did you know on the, the corner is always something that's nice and i find to be a great inner child activity also very peaceful and nice to just tap into that energy okay so group two let's see what do you need to know right now okay right now what do you need to know what information nah, what information wants to come out about you oh oh yeah, mm. 
are they all should i yeah okay so you have temperance okay i had to make sure that it was okay for me to read it upright yeah okay it is so it is good all in the hood over here but i'm getting temperance really going both ways is all about balance right it's about the land and the water and being able to be bridge for both of those to balance through and be seen in its full entirety so wow a uh, really really powerful major arcana card and what I'm really getting right now is the time for you to ground and to balance and to harmonize these energies, okay? The left and right hemisphere of your brain, the, you know, the areas of your life that are organized and the areas of your life that are messy. It's time to go through and to balance those, okay? You know, the work and play, it's time to balance those. This is something that's coming through, fam. I'm just saying what I'm saying. And if it resonates, it resonates. If not, that's totally okay. But you're definitely um needing to balance something in your life i mean we all are but i'm really getting like these are these are typical things like yes the left and right hemisphere of the brain but how is that reflected in your life is it through your creative work is it through your family and friends where are you needing to get that balance in check okay because for some of you you are doing a great job at balancing congratulations and not only just balancing but also being a bridge a bridge for the spiritual to meet the physical okay you are very much so a bridge on many levels a bridge that is connecting these two almost polar opposites together so what do you need to know? You are a bridge for whatever energies you are connecting to. Be aware, is your foundation strong? Are you, you know, connecting to the right kind of energy that you want to see cross over and integrate with one another? I'm really getting that this is a time for you of integration and of a time where you can even see this little crown right here. It's, it's time for you to really go deep inside of your own um, creator connection in your own relationship with the creator and your own uh, relationship with yourself and how you value yourself and to, you know, bridge, uh, create that bridge or create that... Um, that line or that cord to connect each other together to really see how the creator is manifested within you okay so with that being said with that being said that's that's what i'm really getting so we're gonna get two more cards one about what you should know is either coming for you or is following very soon after this energy or is complementing this energy and some advice so let's get two more cards please no I, again source what you doing this for oh i see why you kind of exploded i'm gonna put those cards back if they come out again then we know it's then we know it's supposed to be there I blew on it too much. I blew on it too much, fam. I blew on it too much. Please, please. But they gave me the cards, so we're going to put those all back. Do we talk about back of deck energy? No, but I just wanted to acknowledge that saving your money right now or making sure that you're budgeting and budgeting effectively for your family, for your shelter, very, very good. And for, you could say, higher connections or source creator connections, actually having some um, money to save and invest in those kind of kind of interesting spiritual we don't really associate with money but um yeah i just i'm just looking at the count crown the crown and the coin on his head so you know investing in maybe understanding your own crown connection is something that's really coming through for you but let's look a little bit you don't even need to spend a dime um you know on actually actual things but money is more than just money spend the time or spend the resources to get closer to that connection okay so that's the thought that is the thought we're gonna move on to look at the other two cards that came out which is really interesting okay because you got the world another major arcana card again really intense energy because this is the last of the major arcana and this signifies a full completion so what do you need to know 
Well, as you continue to balance yourself with this amazing energy, being a bridge for these two almost polarizing energies to exist and coexist and to dwell with one another, mixing them together to integrate into this new beingness is what what I'm hearing and this is leading to a completion. Now again, I'm, I'm doing pretty general, but this could be literally any kind of polarizing energy that you are balancing and bridging together. With the world though, we're seeing that that many people are going to acknowledge or see you during this time they see that you're balancing two things they see that you're integrating these two polarities together and by integrating these two polarities together you are just simply being yourself and being this pure being of expression that allows these two polarities to exist um you know without any kind of weird conflict with that being said there's gonna be maybe a lot of external expression of this kind of completion of this kind of balance of you being this bridge uh, and expressing that openly okay of having this connection i do see that yeah i mean i literally what did i say something about cords and like connecting your cord your solar plexus to like source your solar plexus to your crown and i see these two like rods and i think of cords when when i see them so i'm just getting this really big thought of how you are connected how you are a bridge but also the kind of external expression that you might get it might surprise you to be honest i'm seeing that you know animals are definitely going to pick up on whatever this is that you are bridging and it could be just literally yourself being a bridge for the consciousness to in um integrate with the physical reality okay that oneness divine consciousness but there's also a lot going on externally that we see in the world so the expressions might feel a little bit conflicting at times but really allow yourself to stand into your own purity and your own heart space and i see that you'll be fine you're turning a new chapter of your life, if you will. And the more you allow yourself to balance these energies, the more you allow for this external heart expression of purity to be seen and heard without even needing to say anything. So lastly, we're just going to look at some advice. With the Queen of Swords, we see that being able to use your words wisely being able to actually speak less listen more and use what other people say in your words it's going to be something that is very effective and i'm saying this because again i just feel like there's going to be a lot of external expression and being able to navigate through that kind of you know whoever's talking about what being able to gracefully say what it is that you are expressing here and also you know utilizing mm, the knowledge of the collective that is at your disposal is something that is highly advised during this time again the queen of swords can be she can be kind of a um a slick not manipulative energy but she definitely knows how to twist someone's words if she ever needed to in a way that is still totally 100 percent legit but mm, i'm not really getting much energy to tell you hey yo like twist everyone's words fam no esther's not here for that but esther is here to say hey listen to what people have to say very closely before you say anything and whatever you say will be acknowledged and really mm, be a stronger point if, if you get my drift in this balancing and this completion that we're seeing here. So it really does come down that a lot of expression is going to be probably happening for you as you continue to balance and become this bridge and really complete a cycle. And gosh, you know, I'm seeing the great reset with the world card as well, which I think is a bit appropriate. So be aware, be, be on your, um, you know, be on your best mind behavior be aware, listen to what you hear, and um, analyze before you speak, but don't analyze too much, okay? <laughs> that's not, that's more King of Swords energy. Queen of Swords kind of knows what to say, okay, because they listened. So yeah, that's really the en the information I'm really getting for you and what you needed to hear. That's the message. I hope that it helped you, and if it did, you can press the thumbs up right now so I know so, and can continue to make more videos like this one. If you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments down below. Of course, if you want a personal reading, you can also book one by DMing me or emailing me with the description 
um, information below. Okay, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, fam. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you have um, found whatever it is that you came to this video to find and that you will uh, find some peace of mind and yeah, get closer to the creator, be that bridge, and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.